Well, right now, vaccinated Americans are being told to mask up indoors now in areas with high COVID-19 infection rates. This as the Delta variant of the virus takes hold. The country is averaging 50,000 new cases per day. Two weeks ago, it was only 19,000. Florida is among the states being called out for not doing enough to stop the spread of the virus. In our era, nearly one in every five tests coming back positive for the virus. Now, here's a closer look at the current transmission map from the CDC. You'll see a lot of red on there. Every county across the state in red means technically they're a high risk area where everyone should wear face masks indoors. And Sydney Cameron is live at the Orange County Administration Building. And Sydney, I know Mayor Jerry Demick is expected to give an update later this afternoon on that front. Yeah, Mayor Demings is expected to lay out the county's next steps as local COVID cases continue to rise. Now, we don't know exactly what he is going to be discussing, but we are expecting the mayor to announce a new strategy to get people to comply with the CDC's new guidelines that say fully vaccinated people should wear a mask indoors in public if they are in areas with high COVID transmission. This includes pretty much all of Florida, as you were just saying, according to the CDC's COVID data track. We have to change what we're doing now in order to address this new experience that we're living through now amongst the unvaccinated and with the new variant. Per the governor's order, local governments cannot require businesses to require masks. But as we reported last week, Mayor Demings has asked businesses to voluntarily do it. Now, the mayor is set to talk at 4.30 this afternoon. You're going to want to make sure you have the Fox 35 News app downloaded and follow us on Facebook so you can watch that news briefing live. And coming up in about 30 minutes, we're going to tell you how local businesses are reacting to the CDC's new guidelines. Reporting live in Orlando, Sydney Cameron, Fox 35 News.